Yo guys, your boy JJ and we're here with our first Everybody Hates Chris reaction um, Episode 1 I'm quite excited for this, I'm not gonna lie Because you know, I put out a poll saying if you guys wanted me to react to this um, And a lot of you said you did So yeah man, I'm excited This is the first show, usually I'm, I'm, I react to a lot of music However, before we actually get into this reaction There's a few things I need to run down to you guys first I'll be quick with how these reactions are going to work So firstly, obviously as obviously as you can see, it's just me here I might just do the reactions with myself And then maybe over the course of the next episodes Or the next series, the next seasons I might bring people on and, and react to it But for now it's just me But I'm, I'm sexy anyway guys, so you know can't be too mad at that surely but yeah nah secondly this is the most important thing though so please do not skip uh copyright um with a show like this there's a lot of copyrights involved as you can imagine so what i've had to do i've had to edit the playback speed i've had to edit the visuals i've had to edit the audio just to make sure we can get past copyright and you guys can have an enjoyable reaction but in order to actually watch this reaction, don't do this yet, but this is what you're gonna have to do before the actual reaction starts. Head over to the settings and change the playback speed from what zero and change it to about two. Change the playback speed from zero to two and then you should be able to watch this reaction as if it was normal. Again, don't do this yet, but yeah, uh, I think tablets, phones, computers, laptops, all of those are perfectly fine. I just think it's um, I think it's uh, YouTube and TV and consoles that have an issue with changing playback speeds. I don't think you actually can. So if you're watching on YouTube TV, apologies for that. YouTube did actually have the option to change the playback speed at one point, and, and I don't know why they got rid of that. But I think they're considering bringing it back. So hopefully they do. But as of right now, I know that phones, tablets, laptops, and computers all perfectly fine for 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 this reaction. But another thing, I know I'm chatting a lot. Sorry, I know, like, I'll be quick. If you want to check our reaction unedited, normal speed, all of that, head over to the Rumble link in the description um, and you can watch that normally. It's obviously just because of YouTube, specifically with copyrights, that I can't actually post the non-copyright unedited version. So I have to edit it up for the YouTube. But if you want an unedited version, head over to Rumble and, and you can watch that normal. It's free. Who don't like free shit? um yeah third thing sorry guys i'm gonna be quick again but the third thing is it would just help if you guys actually just engage with the video because i know you guys said you wanted me to react to this but again if if this ends up like on some 40 views and in, in three days type thing then man's not reacting to this again it's, 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 the, it's the truth you get what i'm saying so i would appreciate if you guys can interact with the video like it share it subscribe to the channel and what that does it helps the algorithm to push the video to other people and maybe other people can tune in as well don't be selfish guys don't be selfish but yeah man so i just appreciate that any likes subscriptions comments anything just to engage with the video i'd appreciate that man but yeah, again, if you guys want to see any other people on the channel reacting to this, leave a comment so I can actually show this to them and be like, yo, people want you guys, you know what I mean, Manny, I mean, I might even get my boy Kai on there, but please leave a comment if you guys want more people to tune in with these Everybody Hates Chris reactions. Yeah, man, alright, cool, that's done. Let's talk about Everybody Hates Chris now. Cool, sorry. I, I just needed to say that, I'm not going to talk like that for every reaction. Yeah, Everybody Hates Chris, cool. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I've seen it once when I was probably about eight years old. As you can tell, I'm nowhere near the age of eight years old. So that was a very, very long time ago. And I don't remember really what happened at all. I really don't remember anything, literally. So this is gonna be a somewhat fresh reaction from me. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, like I said, eight years old, it came up on, this show actually came up on UK television at one point, um, on and off. Um, but it was my sister who used to watch it a lot. My sister was a really big fan of the show. I remember my older sister. So anytime I'd be in the in the, in the front room, I'd just watch it with us. Maybe one, two episodes. But bottom line is, I don't remember what happens in the show. Who's like, who's what, what happens or anything. So yeah, man. But let's get into this, guys. Sorry for the long rant. Let's go, though, man. Everybody hates Chris. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Yeah, you know I mean? it's gonna be a fresh UK, London, Britain, England, London, West London. I'm not gonna tell you my block because that's crazy. But yeah, fresh UK reaction on this. Let's go. 
Oh yeah, change the playback speed now from zero to two. Do that now. Brooklyn. This is why I reacted to this. I can't lie, because it's Brooklyn, it's New York, con New York themed, and obviously I've been reacting to a lot of New York drill, New York music. So I just thought, you know what? Why not I react to New York? situational comedies, sitcoms, if you will. Hey, my mother convinced my father to move us out of the project. She always says project is just another word for experiment. In a lab, the government gives rats cheese. In the projects, the government gives people cheese. Oh, shit. Dad, can we stop at McDonald's? You got some McDonald's money? Julius, the kids have to eat. Ain't gotta eat McDonald's. Got some bologna in the back, I'll pull over. My father, Julius, always kept bologna handy just in case. You 
Our cavalry. True gets the first. Tiny gets the prize. Chris, you can have a drink. One time I just got ice. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> ice is crazy. Ice is crazy. What? Nah, no, what? That broke. I think I feel like I remember something about that. That's broke. Drew gets the first. Tiny gets the prize. Chris, you can have a drink. One time I just got ice. Ice is crazy. We moved to an apartment in Bed-Stuy, bro. It's the fact that they're sharing a meal. Now, had we known that Bed-Stuy would be the center of the fact that the damage, I guess we would pick some place else.
Since I was the oldest, I had to be. Yeah, okay, so he's the oldest and, you know, as it usually goes, the youngest gets away with a lot. That's how it is. Well, I'm the youngest as well, but my older siblings are quite a lot older than me, so it, it just felt like I was just another kid, but yeah, man. I, I, I feel it, man. It's the emergency of dark. You smell smoke. You think the house is going to get fire. But your brother and your sister get out of it. If you smell gas and you think the house is going to blow up, get your brother and your sister get out of it. If you smell smoke, and your brother catches on fire. Get your sister and get out of here. <laughs> Unfortunately, the house never caught fire. And neither did my brother. Mom, why I mean, it's good advice. Get to go to school in our own neighborhood. They have to go all the way out to Brooklyn Beach. Brooklyn Beach was a poor Italian neighborhood on the other side of town. Brooklyn Beach. It was just like Ben Stein. Take away the gangs and the mob. Because the junior high school around here is like a hoodlum factory. Mm -hmm. And those white kids, they get their education. Not a Harvard type education, just a not sticking up a liquor store type education. Yeah. Hey, baby. Oh, what's up, Dad? Okay. I am. Good. Bye. 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 
That's what a healthy relationship looks like, I think. I was never cool growing up. The coolest thing about me was this pair of white sneakers I had. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but you were not always cool no sneakers. Believe it or not, there was a time when you couldn't wear sneakers everywhere. Because you look raggedy. And plus, you have an assembly today. Well, you know, lost your mind. My mother hated raggedy. She always said it's better to be poor and neat than rich and raggedy. I think she said that because we were poor. I can't lie. I know American schools. You guys go to um, school in in your own clothes. In you in Britain schools and I think European in general, we have uniforms. So wearing those type of shoes was a standard amongst with our ties and shirts and jumpers and blazers and all that but if we could go to school in anything we wanted to there was no way I'm not wearing anything other than sneakers I can't lie like everyone else would so I don't blame him but yeah, no, them black shoes, they look crazy, I can't lie. Good shoes. I hate them. I hate when mums think they know what's going on, but they don't. How come these were in my shoes? Because you only had one pair of feet. But Chris, don't fool around at school. I need you to be here for One pair of feet is crazy. You won't be here? No, I gotta work today. But you know the drill. Yeah, yeah. something to do with it. 
Dog joke. <laughs> going to 
the white school meant I would get a better education and I would be safe. just saying that like it's real shit like as in 
other kids are doing the same thing as we are, but we're the only two getting picked out because we're the only black kids in our class. It's like that. It's like that. So it's like. It kind of just brings back memories, man. It's it's not memories to be like annoyed about, but it's just like, oh, here we go again, type memories. But yeah, no, it's crazy, man. <laughs> Dr. Raymond, your new principal. Dr. Raymond. Off my feet. That's funny. That's not funny. <laughs> What's your name, son? Caruso. Pick yourself up next time you come to my school. Yeah. Do those shoes? They say something. Oh my days. Nothing. What is on his shoes? What was on my man's foot bottom for him to, his shoes to end up right like that? Must have stepped in shit on purpose just so we can step on the next man's shoes. That are you. A student. I want to learn. More of that. Less of this. Yo. Even though Caruso was messing with me, getting embarrassed made him even mad. So you know what's coming next. This isn't no nigger. Oh, he got away with calling. Yo. I I didn't know they actually just straight said the hard ER on this show, but well that that I guess is more realistic, but yo This used to be racist and shit fam what? You know what I'm saying? Russo was messing with me. Getting embarrassed made him even mad. So you know what's coming next. This isn't no nigger. Oh, he got away with calling me nigger that day. But later in life, he said it at a DMX concert. And almost got stomped to death. Yo. Hey, you really from Bed Stuy to your dad? Yeah. Bed Stuy to your dad. No. Well, at least not yet. I'm Greg. I'm Chris. Greg Wolliger wasn't my first choice for a friend, but mutual ass kicking seemed to bring people together. When I said it wasn't my first choice, I know that feeling, boy. But nah. Friends come in unlikely ways, shapes, Sizes or friends come in unlikely parcels, man. You never know, like, some of the most random people that you meet, you just be like, actually, this is a cool guy. He understands me, I understand him or her. 
you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, like you said, mutual ass whoopings can bring you together as it has done. Cool shoes. You gotta get your own, you gotta get your own set, Chris, man. You gotta ride out. You gotta ride out, Chris, man. Can't be letting him take you for the idiot like that. After school, I have this is crazy. Somebody always comes to break some up. I have to get the first 
been so organized, school fight, no one ain't breaking shit up unless it gets very bad. Bang him, man, just bang him. Yes! 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 Give him that. Oh, it's not over yet. Okay. Sure as hell we stop this shit. <laughs> Listen, have you ever stopped at a bus stop and then the driver's like, it looks like he's stopping and he just sees like, cool, group of black kids. Nah, man's out of here. Man's gone, fam. You get what I'm saying? But I can't lie, if I was a bus driver, I would fucking hate picking up school kids too, bruv. Who they do just chat shit on the bus all day, like? You know what I'm saying? But I feel like his reasoning for not picking up the school kids is deeper than just him being a school kid. You know what I mean? If you know, you know. Oh, damn. Why are you him on? Said you don't give me a mark. I bet that too. Get out your fucking hood. Back up. <laughs> Them shoes are tired. Oh my days. They've been through it. That girl's trying to get me killed. She been holding it all day. This we going in. But once we get in, I don't want to hear no noise. Done. Do you understand? 
It's never that deep. It is never that deep. My father always slept in his uniform. That way when he woke up, he'd be ready to go. <laughs> My lips deceased. He has dreams about all these fucking taxes and shit. Oh, that is hilarious, man. I love this show already. All purpose clean is crazy. I had to get those shoes clean. Please don't tell me you got the time wrong. It's not for it now. Yo, he's one of them, man. What job am I going to? You job in the truck? Yeah, come to think of it, what, did they have alarms like that back then? I don't know. Hello? Hey, hey baby, it's mommy. Is your father around? Yep. Good, good, good. Take his plate out of the refrigerator and put it in the oven for him. Oh. Piece of shit. 
me. She was looking out for my father. You see how big he is? She <laughs> was going to go to work hungry. Because if she goes to work hungry, then he'll be grouchy. And if he's grouchy, he might call his boss Cracker. And if he calls his boss oh, Cracker, gosh. then we're living in the projects again. Long day. Your job is done. Next time, you know, 
put some extra in breakfast, okay? Okay. I don't go pulling this money out. Somebody try to rob me. <laughs> nah, he's broke, fam. He is so tight. Save. 